For 100 years, they've answered the call to defend the country, serving in every major conflict since the First World War. Today, Australia's reservists have been honoured with a special ceremony and a march through the heart of Sydney. Colours held high and glinting eyes, our part-timers of old parading through city streets. One and a quarter million reservists have served the country since the end of World War II and there are currently 45,000 part-time soldiers, sailors and airmen and this is their special day, a day when we can all reflect on their contribution to the nation's defence. Every ship that sails, every army deployment and every RAF squadron that deploys includes reservists. Our new Chief of the Defence Force praising reserve personnel past and current. Also remembered here, the coming centenary of the first battles and casualties involving Australians in World War I. Not Europe or the Middle East, but New Guinea against German forces. It was organised very, very quickly and executed very quickly with predominantly reserves. Medallions for the descendants of the crew of an Australian submarine, AE-1, sunk with all hands in that campaign, our first naval loss of the war. Very honoured. My grandfather was, in my memory, a special man. After 100 years, the colours of that almost forgotten expeditionary force made up mostly of reserve soldiers flying proudly once again. We couldn't do it without reserves, in fact. Howard Gipps, Nine News.